Hey Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and welcome to another campsite cooking video. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the ultimate campfire breakfast. But don't worry, you can do this at home over a stove very easily. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, I'm not gonna do a silent video this time. I'm gonna actually give you guys instructions because I really think this is something you guys are gonna to wanna to do at home. Well, there's a lot of different names for what we're gonna make, but I like to call it breakfast pie. It's a combination of all of my favorite breakfast foods when I'm out camping. Now to get started, you're gonna to need to chop up some vegetables. You're gonna be chopping up whatever you think would taste good in an omelet. So I like sweet bell peppers, I like chives, green onions, but you can add whatever you want. Yellow onions, mushrooms, squash, sprouts, you name it. Next, we're gonna make the hash browns. And to do this, I like russet potatoes, but you can also use red potatoes as well. And you want big ones. It'll just be a lot less work peeling and shredding them. So take your russet potatoes, skin them out, and then immediately submerge them in cold water. And you do this to keep them from turning brown, that nasty brown color that potatoes turn when you leave them exposed to air. And once you've got them all skinned, then you're gonna shred them with the basic cheese grater. And once again, once you've got a pile of shredded potato, submerge it in cold water. Once it's sat in the cold water for a few minutes, you wanna agitate it and stir it around a little bit and this foam and white stuff will come up to the surface. That's the starch. You wanna get rid of the excess starch in the potato, otherwise you'll get kind of these gluey, gooey potato hash browns. Next, you're gonna strain it off. Take a cheesecloth or a colander or something and dump the potatoes into it. Get all that starchy water out. If you wanna save yourself some time, you can buy pre-diced vegetables and you can use frozen hash browns instead of making your own from potatoes. Next, fry up any meat you want in the omelet portion of your breakfast pie. I like bacon and sausage. Now we're gonna take about two pounds of bacon. We're gonna chop it up really fine. We're gonna fry those up till they're crispy and we're gonna set those aside. If you have bacon lardons, you can also use those instead. Once you've fried up all that bacon and sausage, you're gonna have a nice bit of grease in the bottom of your pan. Save that grease. You're gonna use that to cook your hash browns. Nothing better than cooking hash browns in bacon grease. If you don't wanna use the grease, use peanut oil or vegetable oil. Well, by now your fire should be matured and you should have some nice good coals. Take your Dutch oven, spread out some coals, stick it over there and get that grease warmed up. It shouldn't be smoking, but it should sizzle very nicely when you drop some hash browns in it. You want enough grease so that the bottom is barely covered in a pool of grease. When you lay the hash browns down in the oil, you should see a little bit of oil bubbling up to the top. Once that's done, you're gonna take some eggs and lots of them. And you're gonna beat them up, you're gonna add your salt, you're gonna add your pepper, and you're gonna add your meat and your vegetables, and you're gonna make a nice omelet mixture. And then we're gonna pour it all on top of those hash browns. Those hash browns are gonna take the brunt of the heat from the coals, and hash browns need a lot more heat to cook than an omelet does. When you pour in the egg, you'll notice that some of the oil comes up along the side. That's good, you don't want it pooling on the top, but you want oil bubbling up along the sides. That'll keep it from sticking to the sides so that your pie comes out nice and easy. When you're cooking over coals, each breakfast pie is a little different, but I'm gonna give this one about 20, 25 minutes, and hopefully that'll give us the brown crust on the outside uh, and have it cooked all the way through. About 13 to 15 minutes in, take the lid off and check your breakfast pie, see how it's doing. By now, the sides should have cooked and separated from the wall of the Dutch oven. Also, you should uh, notice that there's lots of oil bubbling on the side. If you find out you did add too much oil and it starts pooling up on the top, just take a spoon and start ladling it off. But if you jiggle it, you'll notice that the inside is a little sloshy. And that's when you'll tell when it's done, done is that when you kind of jiggle the cast iron and the center doesn't move, it all moves as one piece. If the sides are getting too brown too quickly, adjust the coals. Now mine here is getting a little bit burnt on the sides. I've got kind of an intense heat coming in from the side. Um, so I need to spin it and I need to remove some coals from the bottom and cook it more from the top and less from the bottom. If you've properly seasoned your Dutch oven and you've used enough oil, 
the pie should just come right out of the Dutch oven without needing any encouragement. Oh. I burned it a little bit on this side. That's okay, it actually looks pretty darn good. There we go, that's a breakfast pie. Let's cut into this thing. Oh, crust is crunchy. I like my hash browns crunchy. There we go, that's a breakfast pie with hash brown crust and bacon crumble on top. That looks delicious. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh, that looks delicious. Four? Yes, please. All right, you ready to try some breakfast pie? Yes, please. Okay. That mm. is an entire breakfast in one mouthful and a good breakfast at that. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, the, the onions and the peppers really, really make it more than just eating eggs and bacon. And, yeah, it's uh, really good. Yeah, it's crunchy on the bottom, it's crunchy on the top. Mm. Right, amount of, right amount of egg and meat. Let me try the back, the back crust here. It got a little, little toastier than I would have preferred, but let's see. Ooh, that is filling. It should be. There's like three pounds of meat and 18 <laughs> eggs in here, and then, and then like four potatoes. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed eating this. If you want to see more cooking videos, we got tons of them. Whole playlists, in fact. Also, check out our best of video with 23 of my favorite campfire cooking recipes. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.